Now, tomorrow you have a task. And on this task, I want you to pay attention to what is going to be there. First of all, um, I didn't include any of the front end estimations on this. Okay? So don't panic over that. Rounding. Okay? Most of the rounding that they do, they end up doing it to the nearest whole number. Okay? So on the test, if it says rounding and it gives you four things and you're adding and they got a decimal point here, your answer is there. Make sure you're rounding it to the nearest whole number. Okay? Other things that I see that you might have a question with, and some of you did this, okay? And I told you in class, I would rather you do it now than make that mistake later. I think, Kane, you made one of these yesterday where you subtracted instead of added or added oh, instead yeah. of subtracted. And it's no big deal, okay, in here. But I'm glad that he made the mistake. Now we'll find out if he learned from his mistake. Okay, and that's that's the key to it. If you make a mistake, don't worry about it. Learn from it. Okay, learn from it. Now on your test tomorrow, basically about three things. Okay, that you really need to know. One is the thousands. Everything is done. This. You're going to the thousands. Last year, you went to the hundreds. Okay? The year before that, you were probably at the tens. Okay? This year, you go to the thousands. With the thousands, you need to be able to know how to write it in standard form. Okay? In other words, if you have... Knowing where... That's the standard form. And going out to the thousand spot. Okay? Now, the expanded form, there's two parts to it. There's a decimal form, and there's also a fractional form. Okay? They also have the name form. Okay? This is the other one. Now, the decimal. If you were to take this and you had had eight times one plus five times point zero one plus seven times seven times point zero zero one. That should be that. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is the decimal form. The fraction form is still 8 times 1 plus 5 times 1, 100 plus 7 times 1, 1,000. Isn't there a different way? Yeah, there is. You can put, um, what is it, 8 plus point. Point zero. No, I think it's zero. I think 8 plus point 0.5. 0.5. Plus 0.007. Plus 007. Yeah, the 007. Um, the other way is the name form. Eight and. Fifty. Seven. Thousand. C A S. This is important. This is important. The and, 
That is basically your decimal point. Okay? The thousands, the THS, tells that it's on this side of the decimal point. Okay? Brian? Like on the um, cube number one, can I use like parentheses so it can help separate it out? Parentheses? Yeah. Like you can do it. To separate it between like each. What about on like the um, point oh one? Can you just include it on that one or no? Yep. Okay. Thanks. That helps me a little bit. Okay. You can do that. Okay. Yes. We haven't got to rounding yet. We're still talking about this part. Okay? Hang on. We're going to get there. Um, so any questions over standard form? No. Any questions over expanded form? No. Okay? Any questions over name form? No. Remember, don't forget to put and in when the decimal point is there. And remember also, this is 57 thousandths, okay? Now, the other part was comparing and ordering, okay? With the ordering part, you had some questions in yesterday's work where you had like that. And this is one of these tips that would help. The first way that they tell you is to start on the left side. So you're going to start here with the whole numbers. They're all twos. So that's not going to tell you anything. Then you got seven, five, six. That tells you right there, this is the least, this is the next, and this is the greatest. Okay. Now, the other way is if you put the number, the digits in there so that all of them have a thousandth digit. That's the farthest one. So if this one, you add it in to where now it has thousands in there, then you're looking at 750, 500, in 683. And then you're putting those in order from least. Well, 500 is the least. 683 is next. And the greatest is 750. Okay? Does that make sense? It's just two different ways, just a little bit different that you can figure these out. Okay? And it will come a little quicker. Um, and that's comparing them and ordering them. Basically, you're putting them in order, but you're also comparing them because the 2.5 is going to be less than 2.683. Okay? Um, now, if I told you... Could you give me, and I need you all paying attention because it's on the test. Could you give me another sentence using those same digits in a different sign? Riley? You could put the 2.683 in front. Yeah. Okay. And then you could have it have the div it be the greatest sign and then 2.5. Okay, that's on the test also. Nothing difficult. All you're doing, yes, I heard flip flop. Yeah, that's all you're doing. It's like the commutative property where you flip it around. You also flip the sign. 
Okay? It's an easier way to think about it. Um, rounding. Um, wait, let me go back up here to this part. I talked about this before, and I want to make sure that you understand this. Um, the first six problems that you did, they were all different. You had 63 over 100. Can you write that in standard form? Yes. Can you write that in standard form? Yes. What is it? Okay. Um, Another question I was going to ask. Oh. If I had, let's say, um, point seven. Okay. you have this, what else equals that? I gave you a lot more than what the test is going to give you. They're only probably going to give you four, but they're going to say check all that apply. What are the ones that are the same? Loop. Okay. Seven. Is that it? Wait, no. That's one of them. I'm on it. And I'm on it. Oh. 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 Graham? They're all the same. They're all the same? 7100. 7100. Bro, I was going to say that. <laughs> They're all the same, so you're going to check no, them all? No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. no the small one. Uh, no, the green one. Okay. Uh, it's, can I say all of them? No, one more. Uh, it's 700, 1,000. Down at the bottom? Uh, I'll do that too. What's that I'm going to say? Liam? 7,100. Uh, yeah. Okay? Do you guys see that? Because uh -huh. yep. it's on your test also. It's going to ask you what is, what is equivalent to this. This is a decimal, and they're going to give you all, they're not going to give you all this number of fractions, but they're going to, I overdid it. But my point is, make sure that you find the ones that are equal. Yes? Kirsten doesn't get it. May I explain? My no. Um, so do you see how, remember when Mr. Ming said if you added zeros on the end, it didn't change it? Yeah. Can you add one zero onto the end? Of which one? Uh, onto the point, um, to the top point seven. Well, yeah, that. All right, that's 7,100, right? So I didn't change the number. And then if you add one more zero, that's 700,000 didn't change the number. Okay. Oh, I get it. I get it. The other way you can look at it, he added the zeros up here, but if you add the zero here and here, what you do to the top, you do to the bottom, you would end up with 70, 
one hundred. If you add, and that's this one, if you add another zero and another zero, it doesn't change the quantity that's there, it just changes how many pieces it is. You're now at 700 over a thousand. Okay? This is 0 0.07, not 0.7. This is 0 0.070. This is 0 0.007, 007. Okay. It doesn't matter how many zeros he added at the end. At the end, it doesn't matter the zeros. So if you add the in between, between here and the, the number, the digit, yes, it yes. does. You can't do that. Okay. And if there's nothing before the decimal or on this side of the decimal, you can add zeros too. Yeah. You can add them to the front, you can add them to the back, but you can't add them in the middle. Okay. Um, on to rounding. Okay. Rounding. Make sure the rounding that you are going to do, they are going to ask you to round, and they're not going to say, some of them, they're going to tell you to round to the nearest whole number. They will say round to the nearest, you know, round to what is underlined. And so they may have this up here and have the five underlined. And you would round it to 8.06, okay? If they round, they had the eight underlined, you would round to the nearest whole number. They may tell you what you're rounding to. Now, when you are adding or subtracting and they're wanting you to add and subtract and estimate more than likely they're wanting you to go to the nearest whole number even though you may have like 8192 point whatever if you were to add it up round it to the nearest whole number round the top to the whole numbers and then add down or round the top to the whole numbers and then subtract. Pay attention to the sign. Pain. I don't want mistakes again, okay? Okay, no question. They can't right. roll. Questions. Mm. If say you have the eight and the five ten, you round that and it's eight oh six. Would it be okay if you had like a zero? And yeah. Zero? On the end? Yeah. The eight point zero six zero? Yeah, you can do that. Okay. There's nothing wrong. Back to what we just told Christian. You can do that. You can add the zero on the end. I just Christian rule. Okay. The Christian rule now. All right. Today, I want you to finish. You're doing page 39, 37 through 58. Okay. I already did that. 37 through 58. When you finish, you will also have a. 20 minutes of Movimax in the math section, okay? Remember, this is increasing your grade level. It's picking parts that you're missing, you're slacking in, you had a problem with. Some of you are gonna pick up real quick and move right along. Others you may not. If you have questions over it, hit the video at the top and look and see. If you have, still have questions, come and see me.